Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Fox Anon, and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 7, Episode 13 of The Flash Call Masquerade. So Kramer's files are redacted, but Cecile's file on a meta has locations. And then we get to where Joe does more digging, and Cecile is in a mental prison, basically. So this Cecile that's operating is not her, it's someone else. Then we cut to where um, Chester is in um, the changing room and dances. Uh, Chester, I saw he changed the workshop room and he's just dancing around and the bass went a little too hard and sort short circuited. Then Chester got busted by Barry and Iris and it's kind of awkward AF because he was looking for something and he found them having fun. And uh, then we cut to where Barry feels weird in the mental prison. <laughs> so he got um, stuck in there as well. Then Caitlin is stumped. And we cut to where Chester has an idea and Cecile is, um, will try the golden mask. And it's basically from a, like a psycho pirate, basically. <laughs> and then the mask has got a museum. So if you wear it, it feeds off your mind. So Barry talks to Cecile. And um, basically, uh, two weeks ago, it could it was like, could be like a memory of the door open. Cecile wants the mask. And got sued, dear, Ma, dear Bond, to get it. So, Cecile is against it. <laughs> the real Cecile's against it. And uh, getting a code, uh, Sue warns her. Uh, warns Chester. And Chester goes, oh, it's fine. We got it on control, so Sue's in. And, um... We cut to where the real Cecile is nervous and sees a vortex, and then she doesn't. Then sees a woman. Then you see Cray Cecile. Then Barry collapsed, and then the guard opened the door, and basically there's a third brain signal, and Iris knows, and Sue is still down to help. So Cecile has the mask, and um, Sue is pissed at Chester, and then we cut to where Barry is awake. And uh, Cecile's been here before. So she used to be a patient at a mental um, facility when uh, she was in law school and her mom got sick and passed away all alone. And she blamed herself and she spiraled and had a little mental breakdown. And when she got better, she shut down and she's like, I'm never going through this again, ever. And felt ashamed, and so she toughened up and, and pretended it never happened. And Barry tells her, "Is you need to face it." And um, when you face it, there's like a way out. And what basically what this is doing is amplifying her fears. So basically, um, he feels okay. Hang on. <laughs> So Barry is getting his speed, and then we cut to where Iris talks to Chester, and he feels literally clueless and wants to know people better. So Iris um, takes um, the time to do that, and that gives Chester an idea. Then, um, then the fake Cecile takes the thinker's chair, and the real Cecil faces herself. Then Barry took a blast, and then it's Iris versus thinker Cecile. Then real Cecile overcomes the fake one, and then we cut to where Chester um, fried the chair. Then Barry and Cecile are back, and the mask is going to Argus. And then we cut to where Sue apologizes to Chester, and she's gonna be staying in Central City for a little bit. And Cecile thanks Barry, and then Chester talks to Barry and Iris about fun times. It's like literally just go on vacation for a little bit, okay? Like don't need to sneak around, you know. And then we cut to where Joe listens to Cecile, and he's very understanding. And then we cut to Fort Dakota about the last mission and the ambush, and only one person survived, and that was Kramer. And then he talks about working with the enemy, and that was the end of the episode. I give it an A-plus episode. Honestly, it was really good, and I really enjoyed it, because we get to know more of Cecile's backstory. Like, she was all Miss Perfect. She had issues, and it's really humanized her character a lot and and we understand what's going on a little bit more and i loved all of the um fight scenes with basically with 
too. I thought she was really good. I really enjoyed those um, scenes that she did. Um, when she was um, breaking in to get the mask. I love that. It was really good. And that's it for this video. So this video, please go to like, comment down below, do what you think, do you agree, disagree, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.